Hey guys, so I am going to be showing you how to download custom content for The Sims 3 in the form of Sims 3 packs and dot package files. I'll let it in English because that is what I speak. So I'm gonna just click that and then you should probably buy it, but I just click the download one more down here and then it will automatically download for 40 days, quote unquote, but you don't need to buy it, like it'll just it, it keeps working after 40 days, so you're good. Then we're going to right click and then show in folder, right click that, um, which is the Renoir setup, and then uh, click install or extract here, and then it will extract. You can shovel all of that into a folder basically because now you have Renoir, Ren, Winrar, I can never say it. There's different things like WinZip you can also use, but this is what I used. So next, we're going to download our mods folder, and the Sims 3 folder does not have a mods folder. Mods the Sims used to have one, but this is essentially the same thing, and you're just going to go ahead and scroll down on this page, which the link is in the description, and then you're going to click Mediafire, um, which is the button that you would click and download it right here. And then it's going to take you through an ad fly, which essentially you have to wait five seconds to download something so that the creator can, I'm, I'm assuming, get paid. Then you're going to click skip ad, and my you have to click something else to get redirected to it because I have something that protects my browser so that you don't download anything bad. And then we're just going to go ahead and click download, and it will tell you, oh, that ad, whoa. And it will tell you like how big the files and everything. Once again, we're going to click show in folder. Uh, and then we're going to right click that and hit extract here once again so that we can extract it in this same spot. Now we're going to click it. Here is when you would take your folder and you would put it into your Sims 3 folder, but I already have mine all set up. So I'm not going to do that because then it would mess up my game because obviously I already have mods installed in mine to understand how to install mods and custom content. So back in our mods folder that we just downloaded, we have two things, packages and resource.cfg. So what we're going to do is make a new folder and name it overrides because this is what we need. And then the packages folder is where you're going to put all of your dot package files very simple i know so there are a few websites or there's actually a ton of websites you can use um, to download custom content this is a tricky part you have to make sure you're actually downloading the sims 3 custom content because if you download something for the sims 4 or sims 2 and you put it into your sims 3 mods folder it is going to mess up your game so you're just, this is a Sims resource. This is like the basic, like if you're starting out, you'd want to use this one. And for this one, you do not need a mods folder, but for the dot packages, you do. So I'm going to show you how to download both of them. The Sims, th the, the Sims resource mostly provides um, dot Sims 3 packs, which are totally different than dot package files. And I'll show you the difference in how to install both of them, like I just said. But let's just pick the simple makeup look. Um, uh, yes, there are ads everywhere on this website, but that's okay, you know, um, as long as you can download it and everything. So we're just going to click the big green download button, and then it makes us wait 10 seconds, which, you know, whatever. But I'm going to go and skip ahead, and then after that, it will, it will, it will thank you for downloading, and then it should pop up at the bottom as our other downloads did. We're going to go ahead and show that in folder, and now it really does say some three packs. Sometimes they'll be, um, larger files. And you'll, they'll, like, you can download three files, but this one was simple. This is Lana CC Finds. This is a Tumblr page. So basically, it uh, they repost or reblog whatever different uh, content creators' content so that we can download them all in one place. So these poster, picture, drawing things are pretty cute. I'm going to go ahead and go to the content creator's blog. And then they actually offer dot sims three packs and dot packages. I'm going to go with the dot package this time to show you how to do both. It will open up to Mediafire. And then we click download. An ad pops up again because that's what Mediafire does. And then we're going to go ahead and open it once again. 
This one came in as a WinZip file, or sometimes it'll be a WinWar file, it's just different. We're going to go ahead and right click it, and then click Extract here once again, and then it comes with a bunch of things. This time, it, most content creators put in pictures, so this came with pictures of what you have downloaded. Most of the time I delete them if they don't have anything to do with, like, if they're not, like, poses or something. But, still, you know, you downloaded, so we did download the right thing. <laughs> so now we're going to move these two files, which are the two sets of pictures, into our mods folder, into our packages folder, so that they will show up in game. We're just going to move them into the package file folder, and there they are. So they are officially installed in your game, as long as your mods folder is in your Sims 3 folder. Mine is not, because... I didn't. It's not in there. So now we're going to open The Sims 3, just, just the launcher. Do not actually play it or you will not be able to download your .sims3 pack. So once this pops up, um, we can go ahead and right click our .sims3 file and click open. As long as you have The Sims 3 launcher up, it should work. And this, the button and everything should turn gray so that you cannot play it as it just did. And then we will see another little window pop up and it will show us our content installing. So that should open up shortly. And some take, oh, there we go. It, it's black first because my game is slow, but you know, whatever. So the dot sim 3 packs usually take um, at more space in your game and they will make it slower faster. That is why most people make their content in the form of dot package files. And that is why I mostly download .package files, but for the sake of this video, here's a .sims3 pack. So, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward. These can take a little while. Fun fact, that was actually sped up times 5. So now it says success, it'll tell you what you downloaded, say success, and then say done. Once it's at 100%, you're good, you click OK, and it is officially installed in your game. So that is essentially how you download and extract and all that kind of good stuff um, to install your custom content for The Sims 3. Hope this video helped you guys out. Um, if you have any other you know, requests or questions, you can comment them down below and I will help you out. Hopefully I will get them and respond and all that. And yeah, so hope this video was helpful.